Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Bose and Company. I am your host, Emily O, and I am joined by my mom as my co-host for today. Happy December. We're so excited to see you and dive into today's show. Thank you for having me, Emily. I am really excited about the topics that we have to share, but the first thing that I wanted to say is I was receiving some comments the other day when I was doing a QA and a on my Instagram, and a few people, more than two, were like, why do you call your mom Anne? And I just want to, oh, I'm funny. clarifying into the vlog and I'm clarifying it now. I don't actually call her Anne. I do call her mom. Right. I think it's just, you know, kind of like a funny thing that we've done since we were little. Maybe when I'm announcing you or presenting you. Right. I choose your God-given name. But <laughs> I do call her mom. And you I always and call, I call mom. Terry dad on a daily basis. So I yes. just wanted to put out that quick disclaimer. Now, if you're joining us on video because we are back up and running with the visual side of this podcast, Ann and I are decked. Oh, see, I just did it. Yeah. I think it's just like... It's your professional <laughs> Ann. You know, as co-workers, it's, right. it's not really professional in the right. workforce to call <laughs> your only employee, basically, right. um, mom. <laughs> right, right. But we are decked out in Christmas attire. Tis the season. It is officially the festive holiday season. I feel like I'm in costume, but I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Share with us what you're wearing. And if you're just joining us on audio, kind of maybe describe it a little bit for those. It's, it's pretty easy to describe. I have a white button down that has green Christmas trees on it, a red sweater, and a plaid, tartan plaid scarf because we've been influenced by Laura when she comes to work and she always every time you see her she has a beautiful wrap or a scarf yes and so I have that around my shoulders we have really been diving headfirst in with the uh, scarves and it's a great addition you feel so it kind of completes the look I have on just a gray sweater from Madewell and then a J Crew factory tartan scarf in a different type it. of tartan mine's kind of a old, cooler larger I wouldn't necessarily say cooler just different mm -hmm. it's a it's the same scarf in different fonts just yes. a bigger plaid which can we just talk about J Crew Factory what is going on with J Crew Factory are they okay well I, <laughs> I really think it's on your radar because we have a, a new store that's really close and it feels like we've been there every day I it's low-key like my home now it's <laughs> so cozy in there and it's just lovely but J Crew Factory and J Crew they have, we were talking about this with Laura, they have taught us to wait for a sale. Yes, that's like their business model mm -hmm. is just when everything gets marked down. Yeah. But I feel like the, I mean, what did you say? You bought socks today or yesterday? Well, I'm on the mailing list. So I was going through my emails this morning and there was a J. Crew factory one and everything that was on clearance was an additional 70% off if you typed in the promo code jingle. Mm, of and course. I, I got some socks for $2.40. No, I know. They have these huge sales that are almost as if like they're going out of business. It's they're that obviously feeling. not. It's that feeling. It's like everything must go. But 70% off. I mean, I don't understand 70 it. 70% off. That I is... will say now is the time if you are looking for a little plaid tartan something shirt. Yeah, the scarf that I'm wearing right now, I think last time I checked it was on sale for like sixteen fifty. I'm sure it's already marked down. And Laura bought it because you had it on, on Wednesday and she said it was sixteen. It could be cheaper now. I mean, that's like target prices that we're talking about yeah. with with from a J. Crew quality standpoint, which is just wonderful. Mm -hmm. But the J. Crew factory did just open up about five minutes from our house and like we we were running into people there. Oh, it's fun. It's a festive very store. Social. Very social place if you want to see a few friends in the mm -hmm. neighborhood. I, I told mom these this entire city are this our little town is going to be in J Crew Factory. Well, I think it's just very exciting for us because we don't have the best shopping. Not like immediately, near not us. right near us. And this is like right near us. Very handy, super handy, and yeah, even for Thanksgiving, you kind of you ran up there with Claire and you got that full fit, which mm -hmm. so many people have purchased that skirt. It's cute because it's so cute for the holidays. Yes. Hopefully, she gets a chance and opportunity to wear it again. That's what I'm hoping. My mom's been popping in there. We both didn't know it this happens often but she got the same really cute little tartan blouse that I have and she well, styled it with a red blazer and looked darling she did she looked so chic and last night I told you this I was at dinner out to dinner and the table next to us it was clearly like you know two couples in their mid-30s and the woman had the same tartan shirt on with the mm. and she had a big headband on and I was oh, like we're gonna so be spotting cute. all of these Christmas <laughs> yes. pieces I'm like Jaker Factory we'll see you there <laughs> it was so funny um but today oh, let's just start with some bows and lows let's start with yours what's your low I would say that my low well I literally just dropped my my camera moments before we got on to the show because we are bringing back the visual part of this podcast so that was my backup lens mm -hmm. anyway it was my own fault we have kind of a, a loose tripod 
So I think I need to order a new lens. My, I'm looking at I the camera to... right now and it's askew. You can, the lens, I mean, it's, it's videotaping fine, but the lens is not, it won't go back the lens. into the camera and it's off to the side. And we have a constant battle. I'm kind of glaring at it right now with tripods. So and I think I'm going to have to order the, a new lens. I was in the market. I was using my backup lens anyway, which is the one that I just broke, but mm -hmm. the camera's still working. And it, I mean, it was smacked out on the wood floor. Bam. I tried to catch it with my foot, but there have been too many times where I've dropped a camera. Why is that? I, I don't drop like, well, I drop my phone sometimes, but like the other things always, I don't. Since you were little. I drop my phone. Phone, camera. Phone, camera. <laughs> it's just well, I think it's also that you use it a lot. Oh, so, that's a good point. I mean, inevitably, it's going to slip. It's drop, going to slip. You but, really don't once you have broken your phone cover, but that, I mean... No, I, I don't think there are some people that I feel like they constantly have broken phones, shattered, shattered. Yes. yes. No, you're, you're not bad. No. I just think that it's a tool of the trade. So you're using it a lot. Yes. So little accident. That would probably be my low. Um, but I've had so many bows this past week. We are oh my gosh. finishing up, wrapping up my birthday week. And I have really taken it to the next level with, mm -hmm. you know, celebrating it. And it has just been a wonderful week altogether. So Thursday, well, why don't you share your, I'm going to say my birthday obviously was my bow, but share your bows and lows. And then we'll kind of mm. come back to the birthday discussion. Well, I would say that my bow was also your birthday bash. My, the bow my, bash. The bow bash. Was my bow. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, how could it not be? It was really just, <laughs> I had fun prepping for it. The night was fun. That So that's my bow. My low for the week, I have this lingering cough. Yes. And I, not every night, but I'm waking up coughing. And it's sort of a dry tickle. Mm. But last night I got up and took some honey. Oh. And it, Turned into a, a bow. A natural remedy for you. <laughs> it did. Yeah, it did, did it help? It helped a lot. That's good. I feel like everyone, we were just talking about this, like all of a sudden kind of woke up and is dry. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, the winter, even though it's not necessarily like today, we've had six different seasons in this week. We it have. was snowing and then it got really warm and all the snow kind of like melted. And then now today it's raining and then it was kind mm -hmm. of balmy. So you guys know, we've talked about this the, before, how affected we are by the weather so there have been some headaches and then you feel a little dry and it's just it's very confusing it's time to get the moisturizer out every night yes the thick yeah. shea butter moisturizer pull it out so you know what i'm also looking for since you mentioned that um la Ocitan is my favorite hand lotion and they used to sell it at the holiday times a little set of cotton gloves. I, this is so, this is such a you thing. I it love it. It is. Cotton gloves. Probably nobody else bought it, so they don't do it anymore. But it was cotton gloves, and it was in a little set, and I would buy it. And then you just keep, you you know, like maybe once or twice a week, you put the lotion on, or sometimes you could use Vaseline, any kind of lotion. And then you wear the cotton gloves to bed at night, and your hands wake up, and they're so soft. You would do that throughout the winter. That was such like a a mom move of you, you feel like do. a pantomime when you're going to bed though but then I bet your hands were so soft the yes. next day and you could do it I mean just put socks on with cotton socks with yeah load up on the lotion <laughs> yeah. but I feel like I need to start this rigmarole already because my hands feel dry yeah I after agree. putting up my nails know, are breaking my hands are dry that's a good great idea for everyone to remember yes. to put on everyone's radar. I'm sure Amazon sells those gloves too. I think so. But La Ocitana, that was like in our childhood years, you would do that in the winter and we'd come in and say goodnight and you would have your <laughs> lotion gloves on <laughs> and you just knew that winter was here. Yeah, <laughs> giving you a thumbs up with the gloves on. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about my bow bash because you just wow. did such a marvelous job as you always do with hosting, the tablescape, um, just creating such an ambiance, such a vibe. Wow. Well, thank you. And I wanted to have an opportunity for you to share kind of your thought process and where some of the pieces were from and your favorite part of the table. Well, you were the one that came up with the bow bash. So that made it simple. We started with the black bow. Yes. And then you also requested, which I love, is that I use the gold china. I love your china. What is it called? Somebody kind of commented on my TikTok and it was Florin, Florentine. Oh, I, gold, I think the, the pattern. Florentine. It's Wedgwood is oh, okay. the brand. Okay. And actually, I it's not. When we got married, I registered for china. Mm -hmm. That's a Lenox pattern that's sort of cream and it has a royal blue band. And then the salad plate has a little feature in the center mm -hmm. of it. 
but I do have that china. But then for our 20th wedding anniversary, you know how there's each year, like our 30th is coming up and it's pearls. Yes. So for, I think it was the 20th, it's dishes or china. Mm -hmm. So you, I don't know if we talked about this on the podcast, you and dad and the other two and Claire and Elizabeth, you all went to a store here that has gorgeous china. Also right by our house. It's also right by our house. And you bought... It's a resale, beautiful antiques. Antique vintage vintage shop. shop. We started with, we we knew we wanted black bows and that we also wanted to use the china. Yes. And then I just kind of went from there. You also mentioned you wanted a lot of candles. Mm -hmm. Did want a lot of candles in the center of the table Mm -hmm. and bows tied on stemware, candles, my champagne glasses, etc. Right. So those were my requests that the, I submitted. Yes. Yeah, so you made it actually very simple. And then we talked about using coupe glasses, but we went with my crystal that are very simple champagne flutes with a gold rim. Wait, was that a wedding? Was that for your wedding? Yes. Okay. So her champagne glasses are so stunning. I, they're just they're, really simple. They, well, I would say they have character. Well, well, yes, they're I kind of they an do. interesting shape like the they're a longer they're they're kind of thicker at the top and then I guess so and then they have that beautiful gold rim I like sometimes using the china and your champagne glasses because they're mm-hmm. not everyone can't get them they're not super right. mainstream like it's special to yes us and I never I have never tired of our crystal never it's beautiful and you yes. tied well go ahead continue okay <laughs> so that was you set the scene and then Elizabeth and I had gone and ordered a cake and we did a black two-tiered cake with, I mean, a white black two-tiered cake with black polka dots. Yes. And then I tied a big, I have really fat ribbon. Mm-hmm. And I just tied a big bow and let the things, and I used a glass um, cake plate stand. Beautiful. Also, everything like a glass cake plate stand, that's a great gift for somebody. Mm, that is you a great gift. You can use it, a footed stand. You can use it for anything. And you tied the napkins in oh, yes. bows. I used, and a lot of people have DM'd us before, which I appreciated. It was just a little napkin folding thing with, and then I used gold napkin rings and it looks like the shape of the bow. And I kind of went back and forth. I had black velvet ribbon mm-hmm. and I was going to use white napkins and tie, but I just felt like this napkin folding thing was really fun. It really popped off of the plate as well. Mm-hmm. And was it hard to fold no. the napkin? Okay. No. Did you watch a video or did you just knew how to do it? No, I watched a video. Oh, okay. I, I like napkin folding too. You do like napkin folding. I, I yeah, do. that falls into the line of things that you love to do. I, yes. Yeah. So I, yeah, oh, I loved the assignment for the table. <laughs> do you like receiving an assignment? Oh yeah. Or In do you general like to just terms. be led creatively? Well, both. But okay. I pre- for sure. I mean, you and I discussed it, so I liked going off. But it was a fun assignment. I'm like, okay, that makes it easy. I'm going to use this china. Yes. That's and then I pulled. I had those chargers with the gold beads. I had bought those for like Claire's 23rd. Mm-hmm. Those are a nice charger to have. Too. And where are those from? Um, I think I well, I linked them from Amazon. You can get oh, them. Oh, they're kind well, of a standard hear. charger. I think people use them in weddings and whatever. And yes. I have eight of them. I think. Okay, so those are yeah, those are on my LTK. Everything that we're talking mm-hmm. about is aside from the our china. Everything was from Amazon. Well, and I tried to do it that way to make it easy. And the tablecloth that I used, I've had for a while. And it's a Kate Spade, the Larrabee Dot. And you couldn't tell in the pictures, but it has a very subtle white on white, tiny polka dot, which kind of tied in with the cake. Mm. Nobody else probably noticed that. But, I mean, we did. But And I love polka dots. Yes. And I did find a link for the Larrabee, Kate Spade, Larrabee Dot tablecloth. So... If you are looking for something for a newly married couple or somebody that has a new home, I think that white tablecloth is lovely. That is lovely. Followed by the cake stand is another great option. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the uh, candlesticks were, you had black candlesticks. So the gold. And white ones. Um, I, well, I, I did, the actual candle were white ones, 12 inch taper. Mm-hmm. And we linked to that. And then I had gold candlesticks that... I've had for a while and I used it Thanksgiving on the tablescape. Yes. And then I did purchase the same type in black. Yes. Because I thought, and then I tried crystal. That's when it's fun. Because I was thinking maybe I'll do crystal candlesticks because that always makes everything sparkle. Mm -hmm. Didn't look as cute. Mm -hmm. And then I just intermixed the black and gold and then tied the little ribbons. And I just used a teeny little satin ribbon because velvet doesn't always lay as nicely satin's easy and it you pointed out to me the especially the little bows that we tied on the candlesticks and the champagne glasses looked 
just like my logo. They did. Which was so cute the way that you tied it. And Mm -hmm. such an easy, I'm sure everyone's been seeing this because bows have just been exploding over the internet. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, I am happy to say that we have been ahead of the trend for many years. I have loved loved bows bows. since child life. Um, But no, they really have taken Mm -hmm. off the Christmas season and tying bows on Christmas trees. And I actually, somebody sent me a TikTok and it was like, you know, when girls just take things too far and somebody made it as a joke and she tied bows like it was on the um, handle on the toilet and then it was on her banana and then it was like it was just everywhere funny but what was the point of this oh I feel like we have seen we have been seeing bows being tied on champagne glasses candlesticks it really is like the easiest little decor if you're hosting a dinner party a book club any type of holiday throw a bow on it throw a bow on it because you know why Everything's better, better with a bow. bow. I mean, we've been saying it. Yes. Um, and people are finally listening. <laughs> finally, our message. But at the holidays, I mean, a no, bow yeah, makes I sense. Mean, yeah. And then also, I reused that gold, which I'll use a lot, the gold silverware from Amazon. Yes, that, that is I, from Amazon. Yes, I had that from Thanksgiving as well. Um, this week, we found a bar cart at a local... Okay, mm-hmm. I don't know why we're acting like we don't have good shopping. Everything that we've mentioned has been from a shop like that's right true. near our house. Right. Um, but we You're stopped right. into a really cute boutique that's right near the coffee shop that we go to all the time. And they're especially come alive, I feel like, with the holiday season. Mm-hmm. We only go into that store during Christmas just because we like to see what she has. And on the floor was the perfect little bar cart. So we asked her if it was just part of the display or if we could purchase it. And she gave it to us 80% off or 70% off because 80%. it was 80% off because it was missing the wheels, which I actually liked it without the wheels because I think it looked a little bit more elevated. So we purchased it for the party and it is available on Amazon. We found it. Bed Bath & Beyond, Wayfair, a few other sp- places. It's the cutest little bar it's cart. It's really cute. And it's not too large, which is good because it's easy to store if you have a apartment or even a, a college I mean I know it's like midway through the year but if you're in the need of a new bar card we have found a, just a love it's just lovely <laughs> also a great that's a great Christmas present oh absolutely it's a little low without the wheels but I like it it's I'm not gonna lie it's petite it's but petite. it fit our space perfectly and we put it kind of at an angle up against our built-ins in the dining room which mm-hmm. is where we're sitting right now to record this episode so I'm looking at it right now and the way you styled it it really at night glistened and I Again. feel like with the um, candles lit it popped it was a magical bar cart it's a magical bar cart and also it has two mirrored shelves that really helps that makes it illuminate nicely as well yes talk about and the bar cart so that was really fun we were at the grocery store getting stuff for the birthday dinner and our grocery store at the checkout and you know i love finding stuff at the grocery store it's your thing they had vov which i know to say i had to ask someone how to say it it rhymes with love grammy grammy has been the one who said that all but yes. a long time <laughs> yes so they had a whole beautiful display and it was the rose vov so it's the pink box yes and there was a whole display of the boxes stacked up and it was a great price it's like a holiday thing they have going so we bought two boxes of it Mm -hmm. and that was kind of the because we wanted to throw in a little bit of light pink because we were trying to go with your colors that's on your website the light pink black and white so we used those two boxes and I I forgot that I had the cutest gold ice bucket from H&M that we've had for a while. I found a similar one on Amazon. Filled that up, put some little gold bowls on the bottom with some cookies. Oh my gosh. It looked really cute. And then we found at the grocery store the perfect pale pink roses. That pink ugh, shade of both the roses and the Vuv bottle is my favorite color. I think I've mm-hmm. declared it. I mentioned it at the party the other night. That mm-hmm. is my favorite color. It looks almost identical to the shade of pink on my website, which I love. It's yes. just like the prettiest, most feminine ballet pink. Mm-hmm. And the fact that the flowers matched it. And then it was just like a teeny little, I have it in my on my desk right now, teeny little bouquet of roses. <laughs> and it was in, what made it gorgeous was your vase, your Waterford mm-hmm. vase. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we just had had the gorgeous champagne glasses lined up. Obviously, all the details are on my Instagram and my TikTok. You might have already seen this and my vlog. It's fun to talk about. We kept it really simple. Oh, you know what else I had on the table? I found it at another local shop. Yeah. I don't know what our problem I is. I think we, we have need these to wonderful retract that stores. statement. <laughs> yes. And it, it's also available online on Target, but it's that brand Mary Mary, M-E-R-I. Okay. And it was glitter gold bows, and it's meant to be a garland. So you can, it came with ribbon to tie it, but I kept them separate and just placed them 
kind of resting on each base of the candlestick. I liked that extra touch. It kind of mm -hmm. pulled up the glitter and the sparkle on the table. And then our cake was very tall. Very large, very dramatic. So cake. it looked really pretty when people came in and for the tablescape. But when we actually sat down to dinner, I did take the cake away because you couldn't see, you know, if you're sitting across like Claire mm -hmm. and Connor, they they couldn't see each other because of the cake. <laughs> and then I took the flowers from the bar cart and put them right in the middle. Talk about on the back of the chairs what oh we my had. Gosh. I know. Okay, so a lot of people do this for weddings. It was like a mini wedding that I made for myself. I was you marrying did. the bows. You were. <laughs> They, it's just the big sashes that you tie around the back of the chairs. So I ordered those from Amazon as well. And so we have white chairs and it just popped. It, it looked really so pretty. Did. Such an easy way to elevate a table. Another great idea. Mm -hmm. And I, th those come in other colors because I, the Any only color. other person that I saw do this recently for a non-wedding event um, was they had it in, like in a light pink. Ooh. And so that could also be really pretty. And that's something that you could pull out at any season at any point. Mm -hmm. But the black is something to have on hand. And again, everything that we you purchased for the table was pretty reasonably priced. Again, excluding the China really is the star <laughs> of the show. I can't say it enough. The other thing you can do and people do it for weddings, you could nestle something in that little bow. You know, if you wanted to do it for the holidays, you could do the black bow and then you could put some fresh greens mm -hmm. like in the knot of oh it. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. Right, you could do that. I love that. And it's it's not very expensive. No, it's, it's a nice touch. A very, it that little seat moment just took the dinner party to a whole new level. And I made little place cards. I was going to say that. I love a good place card. Talk, so, talk about it. Sure. I just always keep on hand and I get them at our craft store. I think Michael's has them all the time. It's okay. just a little pack of place cards that are plain white. Mm -hmm. So I took the bow from our your logo and mm -hmm. put it on there and then wrote everyone's name in a gold paint pen. It <laughs> Another thing that's nice to have on hand, gold paint pen, silver, yes. and white. Yes. You never know when you're going to need them. The place cards, even though there was, how many of us? Eight, just eight. Eight of us. It's still nice to have a place card. Yeah. Talk about your <laughs> recipe that you made for the event. Oh my for the gosh. Okay. I, this is a recipe that my mom had tried years ago from a cookbook that we love. And I made it for your first birthday. When I had our whole family over, we had like 40 people. I actually oh don't gosh. know how I did it because it's in, I made them in little ram in ramekins. It's a sausage and apple, basically like pot pie. It, yes. And I used a footed crate and barrel French onion soup bowl. Mm -hmm. And it's got, yeah, sausage. We use kibasi. Rice. Rice. Apple, green apples, yes. Dijon yeah. mustard. Mm, it's so good. With a puff pastry on top. Yes. And it's very, it's, I'm going to tell you, it's simple to make. And the presentation is like way better than the amount of time it takes to make it. That's because good to then know. you cover the top with puff pastry. And then I took the extra time just because I was in a bow bash mood. Right. And I made, I used the extra puff pastry dough and I just made a bow on top. So everyone, when they sat down, had a bow on top of their puff pastry it was such a lovely touch and then you just brush it with um egg you beat an egg and a little egg and water and you brush it and the nice thing is is you can have them it takes 20 minutes you make the whole mixture and then you fill up the ramekins or the soup bowls whatever you're using you put the puff pastry on it and then i had it ready before the guests got here 15 you or 20 did. minutes before yes. i had it ready and then it only takes 20 minutes in the oven so you can pop it in Whenever you want, you pull it out and you put it at each person's place. Oh my gosh. It's Everyone, a beautiful presentation. Oh my gosh. It's a beautiful presentation. Everyone loved it. You also made a winter salad. Mm -hmm. Could you talk about what was in that salad? Um, it's a pretty common salad that I think a lot of people have, but I, it's, it's an oldie but goodie. It's got mandarin oranges. It has sliced almonds that are sugared. Again, you can do it all before. It's a yummy homemade dressing. Mm -hmm. And what else? A green onions, celery. And that's all we had. It was this big salad. What was your dressing? Because it was really good. Did um, you make it? Uh, yeah, it's a homemade dressing. Okay. Yeah. I can't. It's vinegar, oil. Mm, I think it's got a little Dijon mustard in it, too. I was seeing hints of Dijon. And it sugar. Was, there's there's a fair amount of sugar in the dressing. Well, you know, it's a party. <laughs> right. <laughs> so right. It's definitely like a company salad. Oh, yes. I'm not saying like whip this right. up for your meal prep. But again, the week. you can get it all ready. And then you just add the mandarin oranges and the salad dressing and the nuts and 
you, you know, had it in a huge it. bowl too so there was mm-hmm. a lot of of salad for everyone and, and it's you, a hearty it's a hearty pot pie kind of oh thing. oh very mm-hmm. a very hearty pot pie and then you also made a baked brie for an appetizer we went full on puff pastry <laughs> it I, was yes I, I was like let's was, just do it it was decadent <laughs> i so love a, a puff pastry yes i did a baked brie with apricot preserves wrapped in a puff pastry and i put the big bow on that as well so it kind of you know right from the beginning the food had a little bit of the you had, and, and the, is that uh, dish that the brie was in made for yes it's a baked it's meant to bake brie in it was the cutest size too mm-hmm. yeah so these it are just the lid. little things to maybe put on your christmas list list if you're like oh my gosh i don't know what to think about entertaining pieces like a cake stand like a big mm-hmm. salad bowl like a baked brie dish i mean a, a french onion soup bowl right. those are things that we're going to be looking at this holiday season <laughs> but everything was just delicious and um, Joyce and Bill came once again just to clarify I do call them Grammy and Papa yes, but just for right. you know you guys to know who we're talking about they yes. were in attendance they looked lovely lovely Claire and Connor came mm-hmm. and they looked wonderful and then uh, my date came as well yes <laughs> and there was a date at the Bow Bash there was a date at the Bow Bash and he did bring me a gift he brought you the cutest gift. Well, let's just back up a little bit because I feel like this is exciting for the podcast listeners and it's yes. sort of a slow boil, uh-huh. like introducing this whole situation. Mm-hmm. But we had your date come to the Bow Bash and we had met him the week before. Yes. We'd met him when he's come to pick you up for your dates. Right. Very briefly. Briefly. But when Elizabeth was home and Claire and Connor have met him. He went to Friendsgiving. Right. And then you've been out with them before and your friends. So that's fun. But Elizabeth came with dad and me and we did go and meet him for drinks last Saturday when Elizabeth was home. And he's just darling. <laughs> he's yes. so So that nice. was nice because you had made introductions ahead of time. So he wasn't walking into the Bobash, not... No, we that could would not have him come to a bow bash with bows tied on everything. <laughs> and hopefully you had warned him a little bit. Yeah, or not really. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess he going. Not, honestly, like, probably hindsight should have warned him a little bit more. But how do you warn um, a date that there's going to be? Well, it was funny because the moments prior to him showing up, I was sitting on the couch and I was drilling Connor mm-hmm. because one of the mm. first, I don't, I don't remember the full timeline, but Connor came to my 21st birthday, which was during COVID. And it was quite an event. It was similar. I mean, you guys, here's the thing. If you're listening, you guys know how we are. Like, this is just how we roll. Right. So for my 21st, it was at our club downtown. And we um, had a room. It was in the reading room. I've showed up a lot before. And um, we had a big table. And we had this massive balloon arch that was from, like, a local balloon place. It had this champagne. I was in a Halston dress. Like, it was a time. It, it was, was fun to be at. It was fun. Um, and Connor came to it. So I remember, like, right before my date showed up, I was like, okay, when you came to my 21st, like, did you think that, like... Like that was weird. Like it was over the top. And he's like, no, like I just like went to dinner. Like I didn't think anything of it. And then the next one was Easter that he came to. Mm. And you had like your gorgeous Tiffany China. I think you had grass all over the table. Like mm-hmm. it was, I said, okay, well, like, when, you, when you came to Easter, like, did you think like, what yeah. was it over the, he goes, you are so nervous right now. Like you need to calm down. Like right. he's not going to think anything of it. He's just going to think you're coming to dinner. So no. it went I wonderfully. I, I mean, I don't know. Boys, I don't think they like, don't care. No, the they're not way. realizing like you're drinking or you're, you're having champagne, pink champagne on it no, with a bow on it, which right. he did, by the way. Everybody did. Yeah, we did a nice champagne toast. <laughs> it was so funny thinking back to it. I wore, so we had my black and white dress, which is so beautiful from Dillard. It's a really great holiday option for a party if you have something coming up or even to just keep on hand. Somebody said for their sweet 16, they were going to get it. Oh, Wouldn't that be perfect? Yeah, and it's actually pretty reasonable considering I feel like those dresses with the big bow, like the strapless bow dresses mm-hmm. can kind of be expensive these days it did have straps which I'm happy we put on but my plan was okay I'm gonna shoot all my pictures ahead of time with the tablescape in the black and white dress and my heels and then I'll just put something like a little bit more low-key on you know because like it's just Grammy Papa and everyone at the house well I ended up like the one outfit I thought I was gonna wear it just like it looked just as equally as over the top and I didn't look as good as it in the dress. So I just stayed in the dress, basically. I loved it. And so, I mean, this poor boy, like, walked in. I mean, like, when you really break it down, like... Right. Um, wait, but you know what he told me last night? What? Because we were out again last night on a date, which I'll get to. He, so, like, he went four days prior and his sister had helped him a little bit with the gift to pick everything out. And then he went to J. Crew, and he walked in and he was like, okay, like... 
he I didn't tell him that it was going to be a dressy event. OK, so I, I think he just kind of knew. I, love I mean, I that. guess I had said it was a bow bash. So wh- whatever, guys, like right. I, don't, I just need to do a better job of right. communicating like what these events are going to be like. Mm-hmm. But he um, went shopping and the ladies at J. Crew, which we know the ladies at the at the J. Crew that we go mm-hmm. to all the time, um, were helping him put this outfit together he was like I'm going to a dinner party and like you know I need to look a little I need to look nice so that was a cashmere sweater that he bought oh my god I was like stop that's the cutest thing and they all helped him and and he got new pants and I don't know if he had that's the top or not underneath that is so but he he got a whole new outfit which was really cute and I said to him I was like when when you walked in I because I think I had like touched his arm and I thought to myself, I'm like, is that cashmere? And I was like, there's no way. Like, I love that the funny? effort. He put so much effort into it. Yeah. He was there for a while and he How got a full sweet outfit. Is that? I know. And then he went and got my birthday gift. Wow. I forgot to tell you that this morning, but it just came back to me. So this is live information that you're getting on the podcast. But anyway, that's that's fantastic. I really didn't prep him too much, which that's on me. But honestly, like, what was I going to say? Like, right. you're coming to a candlelit but, I mean, dinner? You're just coming over for, I mean, he knew he was coming to a dinner party. Like he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just, again, I, after yeah. asking Connor, I don't think guys kind of put it no. together in the same way. But it was a wonderful evening, and um, we had cake, which was so Delicious. good. Delicious. cake was amazing. We actually, mm. the next day, I had some cake for breakfast. Yes, you did. Which I had some last Dad's night. Dad's mom, so our grandma, would always do that. She would have cake for breakfast, so I, mm. I kind of had a little moment for her. <laughs> and um, mm. my gifts were just so wonderful. You and Dad were so sweet, and I knew the... <laughs> Last week, we had the whole spiel with Elizabeth, where she didn't want to talk about the birthday gift. Oh, I know. Even though she... Guys, she knows she what knows she's getting. She picked it out. I don't know. She sounded. I'm like, I'm leaving this into the podcast because I need her to hear back how crazy she sounds. But uh, yeah. So I knew what. I'm sorry, I'm talking a lot right now, but oh, I, I knew care. what I was getting because you Facetime me when you were in New York City. It was a Celine Brown shoulder bag, and it's embroidered. It's so wonderful. Now I will say it was bigger in person, which I was happy about. It kind of almost looked mini when I Facetimed you. Oh, good. You know, I thought it was almost like like oh, the size so- of that nylon Prada purse that mm. we have. So kind of petite. But I really like the size of it. And then, so obviously I was like, oh, I know what I'm getting. Like, that's it. But then there was another box. Mm. And that was also a surprise. And it was a Celine box. And you also got me a Celine belt. We did. I'm so excited about. So so we, Dad and I picked that out. sneaky and gal. I did a good job. <laughs> we got those in New York. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And Claire and Connor got me such thoughtful gifts. Always. She got me like a little marble phone stand because I'm always putting my phone in such precarious places, like either around the house or if I'm trying to get like an outlet video. So she got me one to take on the go. And then she got me a new little like portable ring light to attach to my phone or that my camera. Was clever. And then she got me a $50 gift card to the specific salon that I go to for my blowouts because... Getting my hair done is my love language. She's, yes, <laughs> it is. The, the, that was a really thoughtful. The yeah, whole it was gift. really sweet. So that was kind of the the bow over the birthday bow bash overview. And your date? What did he get you? Oh yes, so he got me a really pretty anthropology candle, mm-hmm. which smells so good. It's out on my desk. And then um, he it's got me really cute a Sephora gift card, which was really sweet as well. He had to go in there, which this he was, poor boy like was really. I mean, we were all impressed because he was retelling how he went into Sephora. I mean, that is brutal. I, Brutal. I get overwhelmed. Yes. In Sephora. Yes. And he was really funny telling the story. He was super funny. And they basically directed him, like, get a gift card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he said that people came right over to him and was like, so you seem out of place. (laughs) (laughs) What can we help you with? How thoughtful. And, you know, I always like the, the journey. Yes, and the then thoughtfulness was, of that. He went and got a bag, like a gift bag that said happy birthday and tissue paper. And then he said as he was leaving, he was like walking out. And he's like, okay, I think I have everything. And he's like, and then I saw a bow. And I was like, oh my God, I got to get a bow. So there was, there was a big bow just like so right on top of it. Pretty. He's like, I didn't know if I should put it in the in the bag or just on top. He's like, but I have a bow. Like he wanted. No, it was I mean, sweet. really It was sweet. so sweet. Yeah. And I wasn't, well, actually when he walked in, because dad opened the door with Bill, Papa, it was really mm-hmm. funny. The two of them like present. Yeah, right. <laughs> Um, he had a bottle of wine for you guys. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that's sweet. Like, I didn't see that he brought the gift in and put it down in the front. So like, I, I actually either. genuinely was surprised when he had a gift. And and we also were opening the gifts, <laughs> saying this whole thing back to him. I feel bad for him because I did not see the gift come in as well. 
And then we sat down to open gifts, and I thought that he had just brought a bottle of wine. Yes. And we started opening, and there's it's not like there's that many people there. Like, Grammy and Papa had a card. Right. I had two presents, and Claire had hers. I'm like, and I'm looking, and I thought, oh, my gosh. Like, I can't. It was sitting right there. We had to open it. I know. But it was perfect. He was like, maybe maybe let's not do it. He, he was <laughs> he funny. He was funny. He was so funny. Um, so that is the – and then Elizabeth's gift. I don't know where that – her card showed up today. There's a couple things that came with her name on it. So maybe it's for you. I don't know what she got you. Well, I'll keep you all updated. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that was kind of the Bo, over, the Bo birthday bash overview. And that was on Friday. And then last night, the two of us went out to dinner for to continue the birthday celebration. Oh, you've got to really keep fun. it going. You have to keep it going. So we went to a really fun little spot right by, again, like 10 minutes. We, we really can't knock where we live because we've no. got some good spots. So we had yes. a really fun holiday dinner. I really liked my outfit. I've predominantly been wearing things with bows on them so mm-hmm. i had it's, it's in my reel that i posted on saturday it's the bow reel so definitely go check it out i think i'm gonna post kind of repost the same outfit tonight in a picture just to really hone in mm-hmm. on it but mm-hmm. it was on my story it's a cardigan we've seen these before but it's always they're always fun to pull out yeah a white cardigan with two bows tied in the middle where is it from Dillard's. Dillard's. It was giving Alice and Olivia. And then I wore a white t- t- shirt underneath it. And then I had a black leather mini skirt from Dillard's. Nope. Aqua. Aqua. <laughs> Bloomingdale's. And the thing that I love about it is it's sort of got a little flare to it. Yes. It's a mini skirt, but it has a flare. Because sometimes when they're straight, it's difficult to move and maneuver. And for my body type, I need a little, like just a little flare, flare. to give me like a something. And, and then sheer tights and my Dolce Vita boots. Are those Dolce Vita? I've been Steve Mann. Oh I my think. gosh. Honestly, the miscommunication that has <laughs> taken place over the past for this outfit. I think I shared a TikTok. I'm pretty sure I named every. Okay. I need to actually get on there and clarify because I, I think that they're Steve Mann and they have like a little kitten heel. They're so cute. They're so cute. I'm they're actually suede. really happy. So comfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, or no, just leather. Just like a. A, like a faux leather mm-hmm. so comfortable and then I took my patent leather Francis Valentine purse and I put the strap on it because we did end up going out with his with friends so it was nice because I didn't have to like just carry your shoulder right and then I had on these J. Crew factory sparkly earrings that look like wreaths mm. that I'm sure at this point are like 50 cents right? <laughs> I saw them they're still there they're I'm sure they are I love them yeah they were really like I think they were like 15 12 dollars so uh-huh. overall I loved my outfit and as we were leaving the restaurant a girl was like oh my gosh I love your look I'm like if I had more time I'd send you the links yes <laughs> right or um, I'll tell you all the wrong incorrectly yes. yes and then after that we went out which is really fun so it was you just had a good time a banner weekend and we were up at our lake house on Saturday night Friday night Friday oh my gosh okay it's because my birthday it was so funny yesterday I posted on my Instagram story and I said like slow something <laughs> dramatic like slow Sunday morning at the lake somebody swiped over they're like it's Saturday, Saturday. <laughs> it's like because my birthday was on a Thursday and it felt like a Friday I was thrown off Oh, I've been thrown off. I think I was calling Thursday, Tuesday. I you was did on my birthday. You're like, it just doesn't feel like a Tuesday. <laughs> it's not. And they're like, it's because it's Thursday. And you're like, well, that would be the reason. <laughs> it does throw you off when you're celebrating in, on a weeknight. Absolutely. That's, mm-hmm. It's difficult to celebrate on a weeknight. Um, Can I backtrack for just a second? Because you had Elizabeth on last week. And I just want to touch I want a you to little touch bit on it. Thanksgiving. Please. And I hope that everybody had a great Thanksgiving. We had a wonderful. It was great. Oh, I it was loved wonderful. Everything about it. I was out of my mind with the tablescape. Oh, it's been like one tablescape after another. It has, and I I really like it. <laughs> You're like I'm really but ready for the challenge. I was I was just really excited about it and pleased with how everything turned out. And I think that you've posted that, but those were also because I get a lot of DMs during the week. Just people sharing, which I love, their tablescapes. Someone else um, who I DM frequently was telling me she went to Williams-Sonoma and she has school-age children. I think they're school-age. And she just bought some new white platters and it's like spruced up her whole dinner, cooking dinner feeling and the whole family's liking it. But I do think that some of those pieces on the dining room table are great, like that gold-footed container from Amazon. Like there are pieces in there if you're looking for presents for somebody that would be a nice... I I couldn't agree with you more. There are so many wonderful pieces from the both tablescapes. The Thanksgiving tablescape was next level. I mean, the glasses, even those navy glasses that we used for were the drinks. And I think you put some tiny little cabbages in there. That would be another great gift to Mm -hmm. give someone if they're looking for ways to, you know, build a table. And you can, those blue glasses can be used all year round. All year round. Thanksgiving was honestly just like another event. 
to to be had and we really enjoyed it um what else do we have oh Oh, yes. Oh, I have a couple. Yes. Well, let's just then segue into, I hope that everyone is, if you decorate for Christmas, I hope that's going swimmingly. Well, yeah. Yes. Talk about, let's talk about the Christmas decorations. We, There's so many things, ladies. After Elizabeth guys. got on the road last Sunday, I kind of procrastinated and then I started around two o'clock. Yes. And I worked on it into the evening and then a little bit on Monday morning and then I nipped it in the bud, wrapped it up, and I love the Christmas decorations. I think we had mentioned I did some changes, and I'm I'm beside myself with it. I'm so excited. I've had the last three or four years a white flocked Christmas tree that I put into a white urn, and I switched it up, and I think we had told everyone I got the Home Depot tree, mm-hmm. which is spectacular. We give it a great stamp I, of approval. We're I, looking at it right now. I love it, and um, I moved it centered right in our family room which is a change and I bought one of those tree collars I think they call it Mm. instead of using a tree skirt it's a tree collar and I got that from Target you don't even really notice it it's sort of a woven white with a little bit of gold in it no you really don't notice it but it's a good base yeah it is and I just love the tree and I kind of went with a Santa theme so cute and I just sourced Santa ornaments from different spots you did and I love the tree. I love the tree. I love every single decoration in this house. It's so cozy. It feels like a snow globe. Mm. Um, we really haven't been leaving the home because <laughs> it's just so wonderful. And you hung. So first off, if you're joining us on video, then you can see kind of a little bit of what's going on behind us. So we have this gorgeous mantle. And you've never added lights on the mantle before. No, I have. You can kind of see in the video, I've had this for years, a vintage frame. And yes. it's sort of gold and black. It's It's beautiful. Where'd you get it? Like from a... I bought it at a vintage store a long time ago. It used to be near our house. It's amazing. I saw it in a magazine, like the idea. So I have kept it. And some years I bring it out. And then we have a picture light above our mantle. So I use fishing line and I hung a wreath. In, so it looks like the wreath is in the frame. You can see the bottom of it if you're on our video. But again, I've shown pictures on... I need to do like more of a full tour on my Instagram. Hmm. And, and then these, I normally yeah. don't put greens on the mantle and I did faux ones and I mixed uh, two different ones from Crate and Barrel and I think the other one might be from Amazon. And then, and then those lights, which the whole world is using, I know, which I love them. Me too. And so I bought them. I think they're just from Walmart, but they have a green wire, mm. which is key. So if you're using it with greens, you don't even see the wire. No, not and at they, all. And they're battery operated and you just push on it and there's a timer and... It's funny because dad, if he walks by, he discovered that they twinkle and they, they there's like six different settings. Right. So it, he puts it on the, like you the, know, uh, what is it? Like the pulsating the one. Pulsating, and the, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the jazzy different features. Like, yeah. No, no. There's yeah. only one dial that we're going to be using. Thank you. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I do like that's a nice touch in the evening. Talk about the bookshelf that I'm looking at right in front of me. Well, again, one of our local shops has these beautiful. I bought three of them with you and Elizabeth. They're those little tiny houses and they are, we kind of went with gold and silver. So I rearranged things on just one built-in bookshelf and I just used ornaments. It's so pretty. So ornaments go a long way. Ornaments go and a pine long way. And pine cones. And I, you can, pine s- cones. if you're watching, I just stuck, I have a, I just keep a bag. I have white painted pine cones. I don't even know where I got them. You can get them at Amazon, craft stores, wherever. And then I have a bag of just natural ones. So whatever mood you're in. Mm-hmm. And so you can just fill up a bowl. I filled up my bowl that I always keep out with the pine, white pine cones. And then I stuck some up to tie it in on the mantle. And you hung two wreaths on our French doors, which is the same wreath that matches the mantle. That's also from Walmart, correct? Yes. And I've had them for a few years. And I was there the other day and they still they still sell them. They do. They are so inexpensive. They're like $12, That's crazy. maybe $15. And then there's a brand at Walmart called My Texas Home. Okay. And that's where I got the velvet green bows. The velvet green bows are amazing. They really tie the whole wreath together. They're pretty. And they're gorgeous. And then you hung wreaths from Trader Joe's on live, yep. l- real, live, yes, live wreaths, mini live wreaths with a little red ribbon. And that is on each of our windows. Mm-hmm. What, would you, what kind of, what, what would you say? They're this? kind of up by the transom window. We have transom sliding window. glass doors. So they, they flank the tree. They flank. Yeah. And then we have a mirror that you film in a lot. Mm-hmm. And I just added some fresh greens above that from Trader Joe's and then the same wreath. Yes. 
Yes. So it's, it's just, not too complicated and it's all stuff that you can reuse. And I have a Christmas tree in my bedroom, which you oh. surprised me. That was like a little early birthday gift. I've never had a Christmas tree in my bedroom, but growing up, for some reason, that was just like no, my... Like growing up, we had the little mini ones that you oh, put Oh, your... yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess I did. Mm-hmm. I, this is like a real Christmas tree, though. It's one of those pencil tall ones. I'm obsessed. It's really cute. And then we hung the Emily Owen Bows <laughs> yes. ornaments on it. And you walk by and it just is so pretty. I have a bow tree in my bedroom. It's like, it looks like something you would put in an apartment, but it's so perfect. It's really cute. And that's a nice one for, um, sometimes I've done that down in our little sitting room. Just mm-hmm. a pencil thin tree. I do like a good pencil thin tree. Even just bare with white lights. Mm-hmm. I think it's super just cozy. And then we have a lot of, um, I have a lot of white christmas trees that i bought again at one of our local <laughs> gift shops that they're around you see them in different gift shops and i've just sort of add to it yeah so that's and you just cluster them it just cluster just cluster. when in doubt cluster just cluster, just cluster. <laughs> yep and it'll be good to go no a lot of these i mean you've definitely i'm gonna say sourced taking the time to source so many of these gorgeous decorations and i'm a thematic person of so course. i do like that we kind of went with santa so in the family room i've got some really cute Big Santas. Red. Yes. So we tied in some red. I know. It's just so gorgeous. And some greens in the kitchen, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which is just an easy thing to fill. And then the wreaths outside. The lights are up. It's a winter wonderland here. And it's really helpful now for me, too, because I have, like, new little vignettes. Is that the it right is. word? To yeah. film. No, it's, in a, it's good for you. For, for the socials. No, that is nice. And tonight you have a holiday... Oh, I'm share. really exciting. Week. Tonight, um, we were invited to go to the Cleveland Orchestra. It's actually a fundraiser for a high school. Mm-hmm. And they've done it for years. And it's the first Sunday in d- December. And it's a really pretty dinner at Severance Hall, which is where the Cleveland Orchestra plays. And then you listen to a Christmas concert. And I can't wait. What could be better than that? And it's- tell us what you're wearing. Oh, my gosh. I am... Maybe I'm excited because I'm excited about my outfit. I, I'm the I'm the only one that has seen it, so hopefully that I it's can't still wait. is good. But it's monochromatic mm-hmm. and it's all red. It's red pants, a red blouse with a bow, oh. silky blouse, and then a red. Bla- it's a red suit. It's a red suit, similar to Santa. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're so funny. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna do my silver Celine bag, and then I have silver sparkly Ferragamo shoes that I got last year. For the wedding, and I think I wore them to some wedding situation event. Now are you I'm, making this philanthropic event like a full-on fashion show? No, I can't wait. I cannot wait. <laughs> like a Sunday night, Anne's rolling up, just slaying yeah. in a red suit. I, I, except I don't know if I'll wear the silver shoes because I do have this really, I could put a bow brooch on. Yeah, you could. I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with that. What earrings? Are you gonna do like a big earring or are you just gonna do your classic I might do my classic jewels. Yeah. Jewels. Yes, that's probably <laughs> jewels. <laughs> um So I've then, gotta see. Or I could go gold. I could go gold. I like I have silver. Some gold. Silver's yeah. your coloring. Mm-hmm. Especially with the red. Yeah. People aren't so, gonna know what hit him. I, I'm really excited. And then I think that dad, I'm like, I feel like he's got a tart tartan play. I might be too much, but he does have like a deep wine color, but that won't that won't gel with me. No wine and red, red. Gel. but we're going to be kind of holiday-ish so, so i'm very much looking forward to it it's going to be fun and this week we also we have a, a very festive week as uh, approaching we do we have a christmas party on wednesday which you and dad were going to go to and i kind of <laughs> butted in and i said hey hey friends could yes. you include me because i do want to go to this thing so we have a christmas party on wednesday what do we have on thursday oh, oh the oh thursday. my gosh the shopping the holiday what do they call it holly market holly market which is at our high school and it's every year and it's this pretty massive i've actually never been i guess you i know haven't. i know it's not crazy it's a big huge shopping event and it is a scene and i chaired it um for two years in a row with my co-chair right and it's really it's quite a production so that's on thursday and then friday we are leaving for a christmas weekend and i am going to be super annoying and keep it a secret (laughs) oh or should i not you know i think you should you can keep it a secret it's fun or is that like is that like to like stop emily is it annoying i mean it's kind of a i think it's a big deal but why can't we tell him? I don't know. I was just being weird. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I'll say, because, you know, sometimes I like to just keep people on the edge of their seats for engagement purposes. <laughs> but I am going on a influencer trip this weekend 
for the Christmas season. And I'm super excited it's at a place that we've actually always wanted to go to mm-hmm. and like have even tried to go to this summer and then it was just like we were too busy so we didn't end up making it but when they reached out I was like oh my gosh I'm so excited well I'm really excited for you because it's been one of your goals this year yeah you already went on one influencer trip and this is an influencer trip and I get to be your plus one so thank you very much oh my gosh I wouldn't want to share it with anyone else and it's <laughs> gonna be super festive and it's just in a really pretty setting so we are really looking forward to it I don't know who's going because I haven't gotten the full itinerary yet, but there's going to be lots of little surprises on, for us. And then, you know, oh. now I've just made it a surprise for you. Not that anyone cares, but <laughs> no, but it's really fun. So I think that we're going to have to pack both of these scarves. Oh, you're not going to know what it's that this whole weekend. We're going to be just <laughs> bring the red suit. Oh, maybe <gasps> I, maybe I, I'll could. bring it. Maybe I'll bring the I red do feel suit. like we're pretty prepared with Christmas clothes. Maybe on Wednesday when Laura comes, we'll review once I get the itinerary and we know what we're doing. Mm-hmm. We can kind of build our outfits around that. But I think I'm that's so excited. I think that's a great idea. Um, before we go, yes. I have a little holiday tip for people that Please I share. had mentioned to Laura and even Laura's like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. It could be something that people already do or have, but for Thanksgiving, dad went to the liquor store and bought wine and they carried out to the car, <laughs> another great local shop that we have. Honestly, this is a great place we live. <laughs> <laughs> they carried out to the car, but he had like two cases of wine just to have for Thanksgiving for the holidays. And I was cleaning stuff out and I started to throw the wine divided wine box away and you know what I did I took my wrapping paper my Christmas wrapping paper and I stuck it in all the different slots you're too much for me it is life-changing because when I wrap I like to do like three or four presents in one wrapping paper and then I like to switch up to another one and they fall on the ground or they roll off the table and I have one of those like storage things for wrapping paper but that's not the same because I don't keep all my Christmas you know Christmas I use it and it's gone and it's over I don't right. need a storage unit for that yes yes so that's my tip for the week is if you're at your grocery store or someplace ask if they have a wine box that's divided and just put it wherever you're wrapping or as you're buying your wrapping paper you know how it comes in a big target bag or whatever and it's falling all over Ugh. the place I Every time I walk by it in the basement, I smile because I smile. <laughs> and probably a container store makes something like this, but I this is temporary for me. Like I need it for the next few weeks and then you the wrapping it. paper will be gone and I will recycle the box. Yes. That is First of all, the, a wonderful tip and a wonderful way to end in the show. <laughs> Just on a good note, I think everyone yep. has a great, a, a much better feeling about their wrapping paper for yep. sure. And get and, yourself some wine. And get and get yourself some wine. Some wine and wrapping paper. And that's all we need this holiday season. Right. Um, well, thank you so much for sharing that. I, I definitely go do that and DM us if you end up getting the wine boxes. Yes. So I think that that's going to be our show for today because you got to get ready for your holiday. You got to get holiday my red suit concert. Steamed. You got to get the, get your reindeer up and running because <laughs> you're about to have a Sunday night. I'm so excited for you both. So thank you all so much for listening to this week's episode of Bows and Company. I hope you are all having a wonderful start to your December. Um, don't forget to shop our merchandise on my website, mm. emilyonbows.com. We are probably going to keep running the sale for a little bit more, 24% off in honor of my birthday and you know just holiday shopping in general. So that includes busy brunching items, our bow bundles, all- Everything site wide, twenty four percent off. And we've been shipping out a lot of things. We that, have, and mm-hmm. I'm so happy that you all have been taking advantage of it. I know that we had Cyber Monday, we had Black Friday, we J Crew Factory is <laughs> indefinitely on sale, but this is a good time, and it was kind of made sense for us right now, just around my birthday. So, mm-hmm. um, yes, be sure to check out all my other socials. Follow along for our fun little Christmas trip this weekend. Yes. And I just hope you all have a wonderful week. We're always thinking of you. Thank you for listening to. Oh, so many people were sending their Spotify wrapped 2023 lists oh, yeah. for the top five podcasts that they listened to for the past year. And not only were people posting about Bose and Company being on their top five, but I was receiving such sweet DMs with screenshots of it. So that honestly was just tickling to see. To, I was tickled was, to see uh, so many of you listening to the podcast. So thank you so much. Have a great week. And remember that everything is, in fact, better with a bow. Bye-bye now.